Supermax, Lifestyle Europe. And here's your host, Louise Houghton. It's great to be back with you for today's show, and I'm very excited to announce that we have three special guests in the studio with us. I'll reveal who they are after a quick look at what's coming up. Toy Story, why the Lego movie has been an international box office smash. Lights on, a look at some iconic European lamp designs. And on the rocks, we sample granite gin made in Bavaria. Welcome to the show, everyone, and let me introduce these three Hollywood stars. Now, I know they're maybe not quite what you were expecting, but they are, in fact, all really famous right now. They all star in the Lego movie, which has already grossed more than 60 million euros worldwide. It was first released in the US in February, and this week it comes to Germany. Luckily for us, we had a ticket to the premiere. Everything is awesome. Take 15 million Lego blocks plus some computer animation and the end result is an exciting adventure movie in 3D. The film had its German premiere in Berlin this past weekend. Young Lego fans weren't disappointed. I thought the movie was really good and funny too. And it was great how the Lego figures moved. The good guys always win at the movies, so I already sort of knew how it would end. They're just toys, so I wasn't so afraid. The best part of it is that the bad guy turns out to be sweet in the end. The potential of Lego knows no bounds in playrooms around the world, and its appeal translates easily to the big screen. The filmmakers did their homework, interviewing their fans around the world to make sure the movie turned out just right. For us, it was really important to look at it as a medium, like what is the most exciting medium that we can use to construct worlds that nobody else can construct. And so for us, it was less of a Hollywood production or a toy and more of this is a medium that fosters creativity and play and how do we capture that spirit of adventure and put that into a film. Lego block movies are nothing new. Hollywood's just discovered something that Stefan troger has been doing for years. All he needs is a webcam and a computer to tell stories with his Lego figures. Kroger uses stop-motion animation, making a snap of every move the figure makes, and he runs them together. The Lego movie copies this look. Everyone was amazed and kept asking, wait, is that computer animated or stop motion? Well, it's computer animated. But they did it so that it looks as if it were made by hand. There are little flaws and the plastic textures are great. At some point, you forget their computer graphics. Lego has been building on its success since 1958. That's when a Danish carpenter registered a patent for his interlocking plastic blocks. The product took off quickly to become one of the best-known toys the world over. The snappy bits of plastic came in eight colors, along with sheets, windows, and doors. For years, it was enough. But in the 1990s, electronic toys began to move into the market and nearly put Lego out of business. Today, the company has made a comeback. It's the world's second largest toy maker and brings in three and a half billion euros in sales each year. It has learned its lesson and understands the principle of nothing ventured, nothing gained. What's remarkable is that as a company, most of their products are flops. They're not successful, partly because the products are always changing. Many fail so badly that they're discontinued after half a year. But the courage to always dare to do something new, the courage to fail, is a precondition for success. The marketing of the Lego movie started in January this year with these bags of collectible figures. 
Later, a construction set and video games followed. The makers hope the film will motivate young moviegoers to buy the products they see on screen. Success for the Lego movie means a happy end for the company as well. And the film will be in cinemas here in Germany in the coming weeks.